Hey, beautiful people. Uh, let me close up this first. All right. Welcome. As you know, I'm always, I've always had a pretty transparent um, Facebook page. I've taken you on numerous journeys uh, with me in my life. I've told you about my vulnerabilities, my joys, my downs. But more importantly, I've used my page to share. And today is no different. A couple of weeks, maybe a month or so ago, I made a video and I talked to you about um, something that I'm battling with, which is uh, a form of alopecia. And so I wanted to come on and take you on a journey with me and invite you to, to follow me in this journey. It's going to be over 25 days and you're going to follow me as I head towards this, um, this revolutionary treatment that I'm going to be going through. The treatment is called scalp micropigmentation. I discovered it a couple of weeks ago and I've, as you know, I've researched the hell out of it to make sure that it's something that I'm interested in and something that would suit me on a permanent basis. I, like, like many women and many people in Bermuda, are going through this um, hair loss journey. And so, let me show you what I'm talking about. All the hair here is gone. The follicles are dead. I have patches up here, here, where there is n very minimal growth. It just will not grow out. It's thinning up in here. Yeah. I feel like one day I'm going to wake up and I'm just not going to have any hair on my head. And I've tried to live with it. I've done various things to try to live with it. I've sucked it up and been brave. But I was searching through um, YouTube one day and I found this revolutionary treatment called scalp uh, micropigmentation. And so during my research, I found that in New York, there is a guy, his name is Jonathan Giroux. I'm going to show you his uh, Instagram page, and I hear that he is the absolute best person to do this. There's the Instagram page. If you want to follow along and do some research on your own, Jonathan Giro. So I started stalking him, really, and just trying to see if he would be interested in helping me, and amazingly, he reached out. And so we've hooked up, and in 25 days, I have an appointment to get my treatment done. So a little bit about micropigmentation. It's, it's sort of like a tattoo, but not as deep as a tattoo. And what it does is it gives the illusion of hair. So I'm hoping to get these areas filled in. I'm growing my hair out so I can get a true indication of what areas need to be filled in particularly in here. These patches, hopefully I'll get them filled in too. And as I grow my hair a little longer, it will all blend in very nicely. So that's my girl, people. It's funny how you can have all this hair here and just like no hair there. It's literally bold on this side bold on that side yeah so that's the journey we're gonna be on so every day I'm gonna come on here ah oh, so hot under these lights every day I'm gonna come on and take you on my journey and show you how I'm gonna prepare for it so one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a hairline so I'm gonna go to the barber every week and get him to create a hairline for me that I'm gonna have to live with forever and my barber, Nick, at next, next Level on Court Street, he's done an amazing job already at starting to create that hairline. 
So we're going to go to him every week and sort of create a, a hairline. And in the interim, I'm going to use some covers, some hair fibers and various um, things that I found. One of them is uh, L'Oreal's Hair Touch-Up. I'm going to spray that in today and see if that works. Yeah, we're going to discover some products along the way for those people who may not want to get the micropigmentation. This is um, sort of a, it's supposed to cover up um, gray, but I'm going to use it to cover up patches because on YouTube I saw that it can be used to cover up patches. I also use what is known as X-Fusion, which is a hair cover, a hair sealer. I think this is absolutely amazing. I've used it before and it is definitely something that you should look into if you're suffering from the same thing I did. So I've I've learned on YouTube different ways to apply it, but mostly some people sprinkle it in. But because it's a very, very fine dust, I don't want to do that because um, it's so fine. You can breathe that stuff in and, you know, I have allergies, so I'm not trying to take that stuff into my lungs. So I put it on with an application. I got this from my girlfriend. It's like a makeup applicator. So I put it on that way. And I also put it on using a little, I still one of her makeup brushes. So put it in that way but I'm gonna show you all how you do this I have to say this is very um, very humbling you know when you have these things stop it when you have these things that um, sort of challenge you in life when you feel you're just not looking your best there are all sorts of ways that you can deal with it I'm just choosing this way and as you come along on the journey, you might choose this way too. So let's get started. Let's try this. I've never tried it before, but they say you shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And we take it off. Oh, it's got a little spout on it. And we're going to try to see if we can cover some of these, the patches that are up there. Hmm. Let me put my glasses on because I don't want to just be spraying randomly. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm. Whoa. When I look up close here, but from a distance, my niece says you can't see it at all. It's best to pat it down and let it dry. And once it dry, it says you can style as normal. Mm -hmm. Let me shake it up some more, put a little bit more. how long it's supposed to last but I think it looks good I'm gonna wait until it dries a bit and then yeah do my regular smells weird well I'm gonna put some gel on my hair so now for these side patches those I don't want to spray in because I don't know what that would look like I don't know that seems like that would look weird so I'm gonna use some of this the X Fusion. 
sprinkle some down take the brush and then I'm gonna sort of dab it in yeah you gotta you gotta be real careful with it right because if you put it on too thick then it kind of looks fake so well you gotta sort of put it in very gently very gently and sort of rub it in so that it gets caught to the hairs that you have see that Huh? My niece said it does cover it up. She's my official uh, evaluator here. No, I'm not. So you gotta, you gotta be patient. That's the main thing. It can't be something that you do as you're racing out the door. It's gotta be something that you sort of just dabble onto the area that's affected. Yeah, so, see? Hmm. Looks like it's working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see what's happening here. If you get a good brush, if you have a girlfriend that has a good brush and you manage somehow to steal it from her, you'll be good. I tried with a sort of a dollar store brush before and it didn't work out good at all, but you get a good brush, you're good to go. So all you men, I suggest you start, uh, <laughs> start slowly stealing your wife and girlfriend's brushes, right? So yeah that looks good make sure you have a towel around because if you're under lights it can be very very hot it can be very hot so mm, it feels kind of weird it feels kind of weird to the touch but I'm going to take some of my this is just a curl activator gel that I put on my hair just to lay down the loose pieces. I'm going to take some of that, put it in the back. And I probably should have put this on before I sprayed my hair. But we'll see what happens. Gotta put it on your little ball. I think that once you get the puff to lay down, <laughs> my niece is calling this my little puff. Once you get your puff to lay down in front, it's uh, certainly easier to make the front of your hair look good. But I don't really know if I'm liking the way that product feels in my hair. It feels very stiff. I don't know. Maybe I put too much on. I'm gonna put some gel down the front, get the front laying down. Yeah, that stuff, that stuff's no joke, people. It is firm, okay? Really. Hello, hi, Melanie. And my good friend from the Bahamas, Brother O'Neill. Good to see you following me, brother. Share this video. Trying to get as many people on board with this journey. Yeah, I think once you sort of put the gel on to lay down the front, sort of get it in some sort of, yeah, structure.
helps emphasize your hairline better. Ah, but the sweat, man. Mm. Sweat will kill you. Okay, so, yeah, not so bad, people, not so bad. I think the key really is to, uh, I don't know about the spray. I'm going to think about the spray, see how it, so how it wears. Maybe I should put the gel on before I put my spray on going forward. I'm not so sure. But definitely these hair fibers are the bomb. These hair fibers are incredible. I keep this because I don't want to waste it. You can't waste a bit of it. This stuff's expensive. It's like like 39 40 bucks I got it stateside so the brush application seems to be very the very best so I'm not so sure about this we'll see how it lasts but the main thing is yeah try it you're losing your hair anyway so you can't go too much <laughs> you can't go too much further and messing it up so Right now, though, I think it looks pretty good. After you put on the hair fibers, there is a spray that also comes with it. Where is it? What it looks like. Oh, here it is. It's called Exfusion Holding Spray. So the holding spray, <laughs> you shake it up, and you just put one little spray in it, and that's it. And this stuff is really good. It holds it and keeps it from running out when you sweat and all those kind of things like I'm doing now. This holding spray is really excellent. So that's day one. On my hair loss journey, 25 days countdown to Jonathan Giroux. I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you all are excited. I hope you uh, share this video, encourage your friends to follow, to follow me and let's see if we can find uh, a solution that can help those of us that suffer from alopecia and hair loss. So we'll see. All right, beautiful people, have an amazing day, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.